about bears put that in the video it's just so pretty like the design yeah like i'd steal that for a design <laughs> totally that's yeah that's definitely bears that's land video or whatever So we are headed to Valdez, a uh, little bummed out because I wanted to do an epic Copper Center McCarthy trip. I wanted to spend a good five days out there exploring and camping, uh, but it's not going to happen. We may move into a place pretty soon and we got a lot going on. So we're just making a bomb run down to Valdez once again to get halibut. And that means we're going out every year. We go out with uh, Valdez Saltwater Adventures, which is just amazing. Those guys uh, get us on some really big halibut. So we're at uh, Glacier View right now, and it is just pure fog. It's really interesting, kind of scary, but kind of cool. Like you're driving through the clouds up in the mountains. But we're just gonna power down there. Um, I hope my big cooler will fit in the truck while we're on the boat because otherwise people are going to take it I may try to see if the fish processor will hold the cooler but oh wow we're coming through the fog now that's cool but yeah it's just a quick trip we're going to spend a full day on the bold eagle that's the uh, boat with Valdez Saltwater Adventures um, really like the captain and we're going to get probably 100 pound plus halibut hopefully some rockfish and uh, yellow-eyed snapper so I'm expecting to bring back hundreds of pounds of fish because it's Valdez and we picked the first day where they go really far out onto the shelf so we're gonna camp in town this time there's some really nice camping spots outside of Valdez that I like but in, we have to get up at 5 in the morning I don't want to have to drive into town I'd rather be in town so we're gonna be at the uh, Eagles Rest campground or whatever right in town so quick little adventure but maybe we'll be, explore some stuff on the way back we'll see but pretty excited to get some fish all right
here's Baby Joe's adventures. He's not listening, so we're not gonna go to sleep over here and just snuggle tonight. And when he's in. Just kidding. Uh, okay. Stop. So I'm gonna smash stop. his face open with the hammer. Okay, stop. I'm gonna me. run him over. Shh. Stop on this. Stop. Uh, let me see. Okay, and I'm gonna do a real one now. Stop. Alright, so. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to do all my favorite stops. There's a mountain 4x4 trail outside of Valdez that I always make it to. But we got we had to just rush back to town. We had a bunch of stuff we got to do. And I've got 117 pounds of frozen, flash frozen this time, halibut. Uh, I'm dropping off at my mom's place. Uh, I can't get into town too late. But this is the first time I've flash frozen the halibut it's a little more expensive but it, it keeps the taste more fresh and I'm excited to see what it turns out like this time so I didn't get to do as much filming as I wanted not hardly any of uh, the driving stuff but very excited tomorrow I'm going to the Father's Day 4x4 meetup in the valley and I've been wanting to go to this for several years but they canceled it last year due to Rona my buddies from Northern Knives, uh, I don't think they host it, but they're a big presence there. They're all, they live streamed about it um, tonight and, and they're gonna be out there. So there's gonna be all kinds of four by four trucks. They're gonna have an obstacle course. I think uh, the obstacle course will be too much for Truckee here, uh, but who knows, maybe I'll try something, probably not. I just wanna film the other rigs. So yeah, we'll have some four by four goodness and I'm still living full time in my truck tent and it's wearing on me a little. It's been two months. Uh, the kids hate it. Um, I enjoy it at times, but I'm ready to move into my place. Hopefully in the next few weeks that'll happen. But anyways, the adventure continues. We'll see what tomorrow brings. So this is actually the first overland vehicle to ever enter Alaska. Um, he actually called himself the Alaska Overlander, Jebediah Isaacs. And he overlanded the entire state. I'm just kidding. Pretty cool car though, here at the uh, Museum of Transportation. Bunch of cool stuff.
it's June 20th, solstice and also Father's Day. And I'm having a pretty good day. I slept in, got a lot of sleep. And this week has all been about big fish and big trucks. No, I'm just kidding. I've always wanted to say that. I had a lot of fun at the uh, 4x4 meet and greet. I'm going to try to go there every year. I uh, got this hat there. It was pretty cool. And I cooked up some of the halibut. Last night I made a halibut burger and made some halibut and eggs this morning. But I'm uh, back at Lucille Lake Campground. It's really hard to beat. I actually paid the 20 bucks to get electric and charge the goal zero this time so that was nice but one thing I do want to say is that I am dumping this horrible cast iron griddle because it's so horrible so hard to clean the little divots in it and they just get full of grease and uh, the flat one uh, doesn't spatter grease all over the stove like that one does and it cleans out really quick so I that's a horrible invention um, just gonna leave this that here and just get another cast iron pan. I have one in storage, but it has been over two months of living in the truck tent. And surprisingly, uh, I get anxious and claustrophobic if I'm staying in a house in a room and I prefer the truck tent. So it's gonna be a weird transition to go back to living in a place. I'm looking forward to it, but I don't know how it's gonna work. So anyways, uh, thanks for joining me along with the journey and We'll have more adventures to come. Jesus.